Hello and welcome to Ask Ed, where we discuss questions on UPS systems and mission-critical power distribution. And we do have a question today. This one comes from Robert McKimson of Arlington, Virginia. And Robert writes, I'm installing a new UPS, one of those transformerless types, and I'm confused about what to do with the neutral and the grounding of the system. Now, those are good questions, uh, uh, Robert. Uh, first of all, in the old days, we always bonded the neutral to ground in the UPS because that's the way it was always done. However, technology marches on and in modern transformerless UPSs, we do not recommend bonding the neutral to ground because the UPS is not a separately derived source and therefore the National Electrical Code does not allow a second neutral to bond ground in the network. So what do I do with that neutral bar in the UPS? Well, we ask the question. Is the UPS supporting phase to neutral loads right at its output terminals? In other words, on a 208 volt system, am I supporting 120 volt loads? On a 480 volt system, am I supporting 277 volt loads? If that answer is yes, then the requirement is clear. You must pull a neutral wire in from the source connected to the neutral bar in the UPS and pass that neutral on through into the critical load distribution. Do not bond the neutral bar to ground in the UPS. On the other hand, if it's a three-wire system, no phase to neutral loads, what do I do then? Well, then you have a choice. You can pull a neutral in from the source if you'd like for a reference. You don't have to, but you can. The UPS will operate correctly whether you do or not. Remember not to tie the neutral to ground in that UPS either. So hopefully this provides a little more clarification on neutral handling and grounding of transformerless UPSs. If you have your own question about UPS, Contact us here at Ask Ed, and if we use your question on the air, we will send you a shiny new, a shiny Eaton coffee mug. So keep those cards and letters coming. We'll talk to you next time on Ask Ed.